I'm going to show you how to fit Cove into a room. This is a really simple job and adds great character to any room. And here's what we need to do the job. Lints of Coven. Filler. Cove adhesive. Putty knife. Chalk line. Paint scraper. Measuring tape. Multi-purpose detector. Utility knife. Miter block and saw. Cove primer. Sandpaper. Hammer. Panel pins. Before you begin, cover the area you're working in with a dust sheet. This particular coven has a specification of 83mm for your guideline on the wall and ceiling. Hold a small section of coven in place and mark along the top and bottom with a pencil. Do this in each corner of the room. Then tap a panel pen into the bottom mark of one corner. Wrap a chalk line around the panel pen and extend to the other corner where you've marked. Make sure the chalk line is taut and lined up correctly with your marks. Then simply pull the chalk line out from the wall and allow it to snap into place. This will leave a chalk line on the wall, which is now your guideline for your coven. Remove all traces of soft distemper, flaking paint, old plaster or wallpaper from the ceiling and wall between the lines. Run a multi-purpose detector along the area and mark the positions of any pipes or cables. Then using a utility knife, score the wall and ceilings between these lines. This will ensure good adhesion. Start on the longest wall. Measure and cut a length of coving. When measuring and marking a length of cove, Always measure along the wall guideline. Transfer the measurements taken from the wall back onto the cove marked wall edge. And mark the position of the cut required, marking up to the lip of the cove. When you have to join two pieces of coven together, always use a mitre joint, as this increases the surface area for the adhesion and it's a harder joint seen when done well. For joining two pieces of coven together in length, to cut the right hand piece, Simply place it in the mitre box, making sure the wall side of the coven is against the side of the box closest to you and the ceiling side of the coven is in the bottom of the mitre box. Cut from the bottom left to the top right. Alternatively, you can join two pieces of coven together using a 90 degree butt joint. This is easier to do, but the finish is not as seamless. Lightly sand the edges after cutting to get rid of any rough edges. To fix the coven in position, Spread a wedge-shaped band of cove adhesive generously to the back of the wall and ceiling edges of the coven. You don't need to do the middle section of the cove, as this won't be in contact with any surfaces. Position the cove between the guidelines and push firmly into place. Tap panel pins at 600mm intervals along the wall underneath the cove. This will provide additional support while the adhesive sets. These can be removed later. Use a paint scraper and a damp cloth to remove any excess adhesive. To find the correct measurement for the corner pieces of coven, use a measuring tape starting from the corner to the coven, leaving a little extra for paring down. Bearing in mind, you have to cut a 45 degree angle to complete your mitre joint with your last piece of coven. Transfer these measurements to your next piece of coven. Saw your piece of coven as per measurements. For the right hand piece of an internal corner, with the wall edge of the coving sitting against the mitre box side closest to you, you place the coving in the right hand side of the box and the ceiling edge of the coving sitting against the base of the box. Simply cut at a 45 degree angle from the bottom left to the top right. When finished, bring your coving back to the wall and make sure you're happy with the finished result before applying adhesive. If necessary, trim coven even further to fit. Then apply adhesive and fix coven to the wall. For the left hand piece of an internal corner, with the wall edge of the coving sitting against the mitre box side closest to you, 
you place the coven in the left hand side of the box and the sealing edge of the coven against the base of the box. Simply cut at 45 degrees from the bottom right to the top left. Then apply adhesive and fix coven to the wall. For an external corner, again use the mitre box and saw to create a 45 degree angle at the end of each length of coven. For the right hand piece of an external corner, with the wall edge of the coven sitting against the mitre box side closest to you, you place the coven in the right hand side of the box and the sealing edge of the coven against the base of the box. Simply cut a 45 degree angle from the bottom right to the top left. For the left hand piece of an external corner, with the wall edge of the coven against the mitre box side closest to you, you place the coven in the left hand side of the box and the sealing edge of the coven against the base of the box. Simply cut at a 45 degree angle from the bottom left to the top right. On an internal corner, the wall face is always the longest end of the mitre. And on an external corner, the wall face is always the short end of the mitre. Top tip, you can buy specially designed corner pieces of coven if you want to enhance the finish of the corners and also cover any gaps in your corner mitre joints. Simply apply adhesive to the back of the corner pieces and push firmly into place. When you've finished fixing the coven, remove any supporting panel pins. Then seal along the wall and sealing edges with a suitable filler and fill in any gaps in the joints or mitred corners with a suitable filler. Then wipe with a sponge. You can likely sand these joints later for a smooth finish. Before you paint the coven, it must be sealed with a cove primer, which you simply brush on. Then you generally paint over with a matte white emulsion to match the sealing. So that's how you fit Coven and I have to say a lovely stylish finish to the room. So go and try it yourself. For more helpful hints and tips go to woodiesdiy.com